So Amazon finally allows you to have a more human-like conversation with Alexa. What I mean by that is that they just released a feature that allows you to give Alexa multiple commands without having to say the word Alexa every single time. First though, this video was kindly sponsored by Blinkist. Blinkist is a super cool app for busy people. If you wanna learn more, plenty of CEOs out there have all been documented saying you should read as many books as possible. But what if you really don't have time? Or if you're just a nerd like me and you want the most efficient way you possibly can learn. Blinkist takes all the most popular nonfiction books and condenses them into short versions of the most important parts that you can read or even listen to while doing other things in under 15 minutes. If you click the link in the description, you can start a seven day free trial of the service on either iOS or Android. Check it out. So for this tip and trick Tuesday, I wanna show you this new feature, which is called follow-up mode, by the way, uh, and why it's just awesome. Okay, so first to set it up, you need to open the Alexa app. Then you can tap settings by tapping that gear at the bottom right, and you're gonna see all of your Echo devices. So whichever one you wanna enable this on, and if you wanna enable it on more than one, you're gonna to have to do multiple, um, but tap on the first one you want to enable, and then we're gonna scroll down and you'll find follow-up mode now, and tap that to turn it on. If you don't see this, you probably need to update your Alexa app from either the Play Store or from the App Store on iOS. After that, you can simply say, Alexa, followed by a command, i.e. turn on the standing lamp. She'll say her usual awkward, okay, after it's done, but she'll actually stay blue to let you know that she's still listening and you can then issue another command. For example, turn the living room thermostat to 72 degrees. And this pattern continues until you're done with commands and don't speak for five seconds. You can also cut this short by saying, thank you, if you're feeling polite, that's what I'm here for. Or stop, cancel, go to sleep, etc. If she's, you know, annoying you like usual. And there you go, super short tip and trick this week. Um, but it is something that might seem small, but to me it was such a big deal. Like this is, this is how voice assistants should work. I, I don't know why it's taking this long for all of them not to do this. I, I want them all to do this because it's how you would talk to a real human being. You don't sit there and go like, hey Jaime, can you take a look at this? Hey Jaime, what do you think? Hey Jaime. Why don't you like it? We don't talk like that. Nobody does, right? So like it should just be, hey, attention, conversation. Anyway, bit of a rant. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this, of the Tips and Tricks Tuesday. If you have any other tips and tricks that you'd like me to do on a Tuesday, let me know. Always glad to hear from you guys. Um, otherwise though, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of my channel if you like what you see there. Please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.